All right, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python video. Um, this one's going to be a showcase of the banking system that you saw the tutorial for. Um, or if you haven't seen the tutorial, go back and watch it. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and use every function so that you guys know what it does. So we're going to open a sister, open account, Steve, and he's going to have $500. As you can see, we've got the customer ID for Steve, he has $500. <laughs> Um, then we've got. Then we're gonna uh, load his. Uh, we're gonna open another account for John. He's gonna have a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars. My bad. Although we can give him a thousand dollars by adding nine hundred dollars to his account. There you go. He has a thousand dollars. We're gonna open another account called uh, Jane, and Jane's gonna have four hundred dollars, four hundred fifty dollars. There you go. Now you can see every time I create a new account, the customer ID changes as uh, Steve has an account number of 11111. Um, you can make deposits. So if I was going to make a deposit for Jane and she wanted, uh, say, $750, you'll now see that she has $1,200. Um, you can also make a withdrawal. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Withdrawal um, of 200 say. Now she's got 1000 again. Um, you can also check her details. You can see the account, her account balance. So she's uh, deposited 750 and withdrawn 200, negative 200. So her account has gone down and is now a thousand dollars. It was it was opened with uh, 450 dollars, and so on. Now um, that is pretty much all we've got here. We got save, which just saves the user account to a file, and we've got quit, which just closes the user. Uh, the um, system. Now, if I went to open another account for Dave at eight hundred dollars, you'll see he's still got another different account. Um, now we want to go into the accounts and we want to bring up the file to show, of course. So you can see that Jane has her her uh, ID number, her name, her balance, and when your account was open and how much it was opened with, uh, the deposit, how much was deposited, 750, and how much was withdrawn. Um, and the same should be for John, who deposited $900 to take his account up to $1,000. And he has a different notepad, uh, he has a different um, customer number. Now, if we go back and we check, um, we check, actually, we could go back into the code for this one. We haven't I haven't shown this. So if we load, you can see that it displays all the different um, files in the file list, um, <coughs> and you can choose to change the file. So it could be I can load up Steve, or I can load up uh, John, or I can load up uh, Jane, or I can load up uh, Dave. Um, we can go into the information tab and show how that's um, ran. So you can see it's just a line with numbers, um, pretty standard. It just loads that list in, saves it, etc. When the um, when it's done, um, and sends uh, the information back and forth. And uh, when you request it, it shows it, etc. And it puts in a variable. Now the bank ID is works on a similar way. It um, uh, iterates one up extra every time uh, a user is created and then saves it to this account straight away. Uh, it saves it to this file straight away so that the user already has the thing for the next um, one. Alright, uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, showcase. If you'd like, to, if you haven't already watched the tutorial and you'd like to, the link will be in the description below to the playlist for it. Um, I'm assuming I'll make a playlist especially for that one rather than putting in the Python Basics playlist. But uh, the, at least the link will be to the first video in the description. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.